So this process here at Darlington has not looked at alternatives, and this is one of the really big problems with the uh, proposal. It's um, key and fundamental to environmental assessment that you do look at alternatives. That's one of the fundamental things environmental assessment is about, is uh, do you need this project in view of what else you could do and compared to the effects, the adverse effects or the negative effects of the project. Here at Darlington, uh, OPG has not looked at alternatives. The only thing they've kind of sort of looked at is um, some possible reactor technologies, but they haven't looked at renewable power, they haven't looked at conservation, they haven't looked at need and future demand. I think Ontarians should be hugely concerned. I don't think we should be building any more reactors, and there are a number of reasons for that. One of the reasons is the huge issue with accident risk, and this is something I've been working on myself for over 20 years. And uh, once I started reading all kinds of incident reports and safety analysis for Ontario Power, as well as plants all over the world, I realized that Accidents happen when people don't expect them, when they don't plan for them, and when things go wrong, when people make mistakes, and uh, they can be far worse than we expect. So we really don't need this technology here with the kind of consequences. The other reason people should be concerned is because we have all kinds of alternatives to nuclear power. We can uh, make electricity with renewable power, we can conserve energy, and uh, we can pursue new innovation and technology. The nuclear industry gets special treatment compared to almost every other kind of energy generation. For example, one of the ways it gets special treatment is extremely special rules around liability. So every other kind of energy production, almost every other kind of energy production except for oil and gas drilling, um, has to consider the consequences of accidents. But here, believe it or not, uh, if there was a terrible accident, the accident liability is limited to $75 million total under the Nuclear Liability Act. So this is a huge case of special treatment uh, in, in and of itself. In addition, there are all kinds kinds of um, indemnities and loan guarantees and taxpayer subsidies from the federal government to this industry, both indirectly and directly. I think one of the reasons that the government's pushing for new nuclear reactors is a failure of imagination, uh, a lack of confidence in the um, ability of our own citizens to pursue new solutions into the future. And the other reason is the um, history of a huge Ontario-based uh, manufacturing industry based on the can-do technology, even though it's reaching uh, the end of its likely um, future globally, um, it's still being pursued aggressively in this province because of that history. There are so many issues with the current environmental review that I really can't call it credible and I can't call it sufficient to meet what we would call an environmental review. There isn't uh, proper consideration of long-term fuel waste, which is a huge uh, negative issue. Um, there isn't sufficient consideration of accidents. There isn't con uh, sufficient consideration of planning for severe accidents. Um, and uh, all kinds of information is missing in, in terms of even knowing which reactor we're talking about, which is fundamental to doing a credible assessment. This is entirely a political issue, in my opinion, and so Ontarians need to tell the Premier and uh, the leaders of the, all the parties, as well as the current Energy Minister and the MPPs in their own ridings and future candidates what they think.